Item number SCP-3354. Index Municipal Darwinism. Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Seismic activity should be closely monitored in rural areas of Malaysia. Seismic listening posts have been constructed around the region for this purpose. If weather patterns or seismic activity matching SCP-3354 is discovered, staff are to identify SCP-3354-1 and SCP-3354-2 as quickly as possible. SCP-3354-1 can be identified through increases in its production of goods or services and through its rapid expansion through the purchase of land in close proximity or the construction of additional buildings. SCP-3354-2 can be identified through the seismic activity centered on it, the abnormal weather patterns affecting it, and the disappearance of its population. SCP-3354-1 and SCP-3354-2 will always be within 60 kilometers of each other. Once SCP-3354-1 has been identified, it should be constantly monitored. Any livestock that appears in the affected village should be immediately confiscated and moved to a safe location. Once SCP-3354-2 has been identified, Foundation staff are to initiate an emergency evacuation from the location under the pretense of impending natural disasters. Civilians should be moved to a new, safe location, and Foundation staff are to assist in the construction of new structures and other humanitarian tasks. Description SCP-3354 is a phenomenon affecting rural towns in Malaysia and surrounding regions. When an SCP-3354 event begins, two villages in close proximity are selected, typically within a 60-kilometer radius of each other. The metric influencing which towns are chosen is currently unknown. However, each town or village will generally share a similarity such as population size, average income, or the production of a certain type of good. After an unknown amount of time, one of the villages will become SCP-3354-1 and the other will become SCP-3354-2. The village that becomes SCP-3354-1 will experience sudden anomalous increases in productivity and growth. Entirely new structures will spontaneously appear. In forested areas, surrounding land will be anomalously cleared and tilled, ready for the planting of crops. Occasionally, when SCP-3354-1 is flush with another village or municipal, property rights and zoning documents will be altered to give the anomalous location more land and properties. Lastly, villages will often see large increases in livestock owned by the townspeople. However, since containment began, the amount of new livestock appearing has drastically reduced. SCP-3354-2 can be identified through sudden and unexpected natural disasters most often manifesting as landslides, floods, and sinkholes causing extreme damages to the structures of the village. Large amounts of the materials of these structures will disappear. It's also noted that crops or livestock from SCP-3354 will either spoil quickly or become diseased. Lastly, SCP-3354-2 can be identified through a sudden increase in civilian disappearances. Witnesses often claim to hear ritualistic chanting consistent with indigenous religions or belief systems coming from the missing person's home immediately before going missing. Investigation into the structures appearing in SCP-3354-1 instances reveal they are often composed of remnants of the destroyed structures from SCP-3354-2. The structures will appear fully furnished with furniture and decorations either coming directly from destroyed SCP-3354-2 structures or created from the remains of civilians who died in the natural disasters. Civilians from SCP-3354-1 will instantly accept the new structures and make use of them. They do not seem to notice the materials used to make the structure or the furnishings. Interviews with civilians from affected areas have revealed that it's a common belief that SCP-3354 originates from indigenous beliefs, often concerning animism or folklore. Common claims are that spirits or some form of protective deity from one village will fight spirits or deities from the opposing village, with the winning side taking supplies, power, and slaves from the losing village, often dooming it to destruction. 
historical evidence indicates this was a common practice from ancient indigenous people in the area. Addendum. Continued analysis of SCP-3354 has revealed that the livestock appearing in SCP-3354-1 are actually biologically human, despite physically appearing to be typical farm animals. DNA analysis indicates the new livestock are the missing civilians from SCP-3354-2. It is possible that they retain some level of sapience as they often show extreme levels of fear after appearing and will attempt to escape. Purposefully released animals have attempted to find their SCP-3354-2 instance, but will often become lost or succumb to the elements. Re-containment is not always successful.